Hey, how's everyone doing today? So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about another uh, one flashable cart that you can use if you wanna put your own games on it. If you make games, this is a good one to check out. I've done these kind of before with different brands, but this is gonna be a third one. Maybe I'll make another video kind of showing all three of them together and give you my thoughts and all that good stuff on it. And I wanna be talking about is from a retro repair shop and what's well, our retro game retro shop now this one it's called hdr and it's roughly about 60 bucks and here it is it's pretty cool i actually do like it now i got from them a glow in the dark case so that'll be something i'm going to talk about as well so real quick thank you big shout out for everybody who subscribed and leave comments thank you very much you're all awesome if you think I deserve your subscription today, please leave a subscription. Please leave a like and comments on what you guys would think you would want to see. And let's get into the video now. All right, so we're back on the computer. So here is pretty much the single uh, game flash cartridge. Now this, ha this has a real time clock, which is very important for Pokemon games. More dealing with gold silver crystal or any of the other rom hacks in between for those games this controls time this controls the berry function all that kind of stuff so here you have one for about sixty dollars this is the one that i'll be checking out for everybody today now the way it works with this if you look at it this looks like it's done by hdr you have a lot of sites here you can go to and you can tell you how to kind of build your own if you really wanted to. Now this, you can load your game using the inside the insider gadget one. Now let's go to that one right here. This is how it looks. So it's fairly simple. Let's see the program. Looks like this is the program that they use. Now ironically enough, I already had one from Jay Rodrigo and I will show you that that one works as well so now if you look at his products now this is a very good option uh, his is a pre-modded one it does the exact same function except that he hasn't had it in stock in a while which you know if you're looking for something now and don't want to wait then this is your best bet now just be advised one of the things i liked about him was you're working with an individual person which it's more one-on-one. -on -one. He's also nice enough to preload the game. So let's say, for example, you wanted to just, you didn't want to buy the the GBX cart. You didn't want to, you didn't want to go through this whole process. You already know you wanted like, I don't know, Pokemon Prism on it, and that's it. You didn't really want to change it. You were going to get a special cartridge made, etc. Now, the good thing about his is that he will actually do it for you. You didn't need to buy the cart. But his cart here, which is also out of stock, does work. Now I'll show you that in a second as well. So as you can tell, this is the GBX cart RW software. You can see it right here. This is how it looks. So clearly this is it right here. So what we're gonna do is, and I'll also show it to you as well. One of the cool things actually I got from this website is I picked up a high quality Game Boy cartridge shell this one that glows in the dark they're not too expensive either it was like three dollars so for an extra 50 cents you get something that feels a little better and i do if i can i will try and show you on the on the camera i, I don't know if it'll pick it up but i'll try and see if it does pick it up because that'll be kind of cool to show how that actually all looks all right so let's pull up the uh, gb cart flasher there we go what I'm going to do, I just went off of the most popular, uh, I guess, Game Boy ROM hack on a ROM, ROM hack. So, was it? So, I picked, let's see, I picked the uh, the Game Boy. You know, let me just show you what I picked. I ended up going for, where is the Game Boy one? It's right here. Game Boy. If you ever wanted to notice how you can filter through. Your Game Boy, I picked Downloads, uh, the most popular one. Okay, this is actually reverse. OK, 
Okay, it wasn't actually this one. Where is it? Uh, descending. Okay, there we go. Super Mario Land 2 DX. This one had. Now nah, I'm gonna do use version two, because this one I already have readily available. It's more improved on this one anyway. But this one here had what? How many of you just downloads? 169,000 on this one. Added to version two. So I wonder. I wonder if I can actually search that up and see what we have real quick. Search. Okay. Okay. Search. Let's see what pops up. Okay. So, no, this is still version one. Though version two is in here somewhere as well. I don't know. Let me see if I can pull it up, actually. That way you all can see what I am talking about. So, none, none, search. It was actually recent. I did a recent video on it. There we go. Right there. It's the latest one, version 2. This is the one I'll be using. Obviously, it doesn't have as much as the other one. This one just came out not that long ago. So let's go over to Flasher. Now, as you can tell, it's already detecting it. Check cart info. The biggest thing I would say is what makes this work is that if you look at, here you go. Uh, 2 megabytes, 32 kilobytes, FRAM, and where am I? Uh, MBC3. Now, if you look at his, I believe it's pretty much the exact same one. 204 MBC3 cartridge. So that's why it's pretty much compatible. Now let's write to flash to see if it gives me any issues. Desktop, there we go. Okay, now it's writing the data. That looks like it's going to go pretty quick. Now, if you had seen the actual camera, you'll see that the lights are flashing on this. Now, this is also a good alternative if you already had some of Jay Rodrigo stuff and you wanted to build up your own personal car collection. So it's going, it's going. It doesn't look like it's actually a big game, which is actually pretty good because it is just a regular Game Boy game, not a Game Boy Color game. I mean, yeah, pretty much not a Game Boy Color game. If you're looking at something like Prism, it's going to be, it's going to take you a little longer. So this is. Pretty good for the video, it keeps it nice and short. And after this is done, we're just gonna move over to the actual, um, the rest of the video on the camera and just show you how it looks. Show you, I'll open it up a little bit. It's pretty cool. I do like the way it looks. I do like what they did with this. So in a second, this will be done and then we'll just move over. All right, it's done. You know, one more thing. Let's just check out one more thing actually before I leave, because this is in the same boat as as the J. Rodrigo stuff. So let me just do this real quick. Hold on with me. Gotta get an open USB port. Let me disconnect this one. And let's put this one in. This is gonna be for the GB operator. It's interesting because they always say they're good counterfeit, you know, detectors, this, that, and the third. But it didn't work for Jay Rodrigo's stuff. And let's see if it works for this stuff. Okay. So let's put in. Okay, here we go. It's on. Here we go. Let's just test this out real quick before we switch over. I can close. Let me close this out. All right, unknown title, but it says official cartridge, read only cartridge. So there you go. This is doesn't pick up this stuff either. Let's launch it. Uh, yes, sure. It is fine. And there you go. So here's the game. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice. All right, let's move over to the uh, actual analog now. Okay, so we're back. Now, I already did everything on the computer side. Everybody saw that. Here it is. So let's just test it out now. You guys already saw I worked on the epilogue, even though I thought it was a real cart. Let's just pop it in. Just get that part out of the way. Okay. And there you go. That works. I think it's something like this. You can change it to... Start, select, Luigi. Cool. 
Let's do Luigi real quick. It plays just as if it was on the analog itself, because you can play these games saved off of the SD card as well. But it's just something about actually having a physical cart. And that was kind of hard to explain. Maybe collectors might be able to explain it better than I can, but it's something cool about having it officially on there. It's also a good way if you want to, because not every game can be played on the analog just off of the SD card. So there's some games you just might want to play on an actual cartridge, kind of like it was meant to be played. It's pretty cool. I like playing with Luigi. Definitely changes it up. Ah, man, lots of flour. You can tell, the game runs, no problem. You can load your own game on it, up to two megabytes, and the RTC works just fine. I'll probably change this to something just to utilize the RTC. It'll be a waste not to. So, now let's actually open it up and let's show it to you. I already obviously closed it. When you order it, it actually comes already pretty much, it comes separate. So, all right. One of the things I'll also mention is that you, you're gonna need some way to flash the game on. I asked them if they would let people upload their own. They said, no, you need to have the actual cart itself. So let's just open this up real quick. I can show it to you. All right, here we go. Gonna get open. Here we go. Okay. Now here you go. Gotta say, it's actually a very, very nice design. Kind of looks like uh, I would say Tron. However, <laughs> gives a good way of putting it. it. Has a retro game repair shop logo on the top. Turn it this way. It really does give me a Tron feel. But um, looks like the battery. It's very easy to remove. You just literally pop it up and you put the new battery in. That makes it a lot simpler instead of having to solder battery. So this is where I'll make another video comparing it to some of the other pre-modded flash, flash cards. This does have a leg up on it. Now granted, like I've mentioned, depends on the type of person you are if you want this. Obviously it could be easier just to get an easy flash, have all the games in at once, but some people want individual games as well. Uh, maybe a little bit hard to explain, but some people do want that individual games. So it's each person is different in how they do it. There's really no wrong way to play these games. You can play it off the SD card. You can play it off of here. I know people are very opinionated on what's the best way to play. Just enjoy the games. That is it. Honestly, have the best fun you can have with these games, whichever way you want to do it. Now, this is a great way to go. It looks really good. It's really professional. Definitely give it a thumbs up on that aspect. All right, so let's put it back here. Now, I also want to do, this case here is pretty cool. It's only three bucks. Uh, it actually is glow in the dark. I want to see how that looks. That would be pretty cool to test out. Let's close this up and then let's try out that little glow in the dark feature. Okay, so we're back. I kind of just shined the light on it just to make it glow in the dark faster. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the light off and let's see how it looks. Let's, let's do it now. All right, this is how the cart looks when it's glowing in the dark. That's pretty cool. Let's move this out of the way. That way you actually see it. It actually is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let's check it out actually with the analog itself. <laughs> let's see how it looks. Imagine it at the back of it. All right, here we go. This is how it looks. It's actually awesome. It's a pretty cool way to play. Uh, obviously, I used a lot of light on this one just to get it bright and do it faster. Let's turn the light back on now. Okay, that's actually very cool. And let's, here we are, Mario. And it's green, it's already on Luigi. It's perfect, look at that. Cool, that era. Uh, the glow in the dark feature is actually awesome. I actually, I'm actually digging it. Okay, so I talked about the glow in the dark feature. I've mentioned the battery. So there's a lot of pluses here. I think a lot of people would like. So if you're into like single cart games, being able to do all these things like that, this is a very good route, very good option for you. All right, 
This was a quick video on this one here. Thank you, everyone. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and I will catch you later.